Hi, I'm Bob Ryan. This is Globe 10.0. With me today is Greg Lee. Well, Greg, as we uh, await the start of the Red Sox second half of the season, and they're 500 team right now, 43-43. They're going to get some people back. Among those that will eventually be back are Dustin Pedroia, of course, uh, Clay Buckholz, uh, Jacoby Ellsbury, <coughs> maybe even Carl Crawford and Andrew Bailey. Uh, who moves the needle most here? Uh, I think it's Jacoby Ellsbury. I think uh, he, he showed last year the way he played with his power and his mm -hmm. offensive game. I think he wants to you know, prove that he's still that type of player. He has another year on his contract. Yes. He wants to cash in yep. uh, for a long-term deal. So I think he has more incentive to do that. Uh, Carl Crawford has already announced that he may need Tommy John surgery. What's up with that? I mean, Tommy John surgery, this guy's he's being broken down. But you remember, uh, manager Matten said in Tampa when he, before he left, he said he was damaged a little bit because of his knees, you know, playing on that turf mm -hmm. eight years. So mm -hmm. he, he played, you know, played real hard there mm -hmm. eight he years. Did. So he, did. he hasn't been healthy the entire time he's been with the Red Sox. So I don't expect any impact from him this year. We expect him to have Tommy John surgery. So it would be Ellsbury. Well, okay, Ellsbury would be, make most sense. He was the best position player in the American League last year. Uh, Buck Holtz is always fragile. There's always going to be something. I think. Yeah. There's always going to be something. When he's, when he's healthy, he's good. Uh, Crawford, what's the sense even worrying about Crawford? We see him when we see him. I mean, really, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Andrew Bailey. Now, Andrew Bailey was uh, uh, always hurt in uh, various ways. This is a thumb. has nothing to do with his previous injuries. Anyway, it would be nice. It would tie the pitching staff together, but uh, I'd be more excited, frankly, if he were a starter. Yeah, exactly, because that's <laughs> what, that's the problem. You can't you can't win games. You can't win games unless your starters do well, and you can't save games unless your starters Thank you. Uh, get you down seven innings. So. Andrew Bailey is no good if your team not putting you up in such a for a safe situation. So it's obviously starting pitching is a problem for this team. So Andrew Bailey would be, be you know null and void if the starters came and get to him. Uh, I mean, over the, overall the bullpen has been good ever since that Yankee debacle, that famous Saturday afternoon. Yeah. They've been very good. I mean, they've blown the game here and there, but by and large the bullpen's been very good. But the starting pitching, the reason that they're 43 and 43 uh, ultimately is the fact that the, the start top of the rotation guys haven't done the job. And uh, and and I don't don't ask me what's wrong with Lester because I don't know. But else we're coming back. Got to help. And here's the thing to remember, as much as there's doom and gloom and there's, uh, it's all warranted, they're, they're, they haven't lost touch with the wild card. They haven't no. lost touch. No, they're still they're right there for the wild card. I can't, you, no one can believe it, but <laughs> no one's really escaping with that. So the Red Sox have an opportunity to get to the playoffs, but I'm not counting on that. All right, but meanwhile, we both say, welcome back, Jacoby. <laughs>